What's going on fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to review my beach card modifications six months from the original modifications. See what's changed and see what stayed the same. Let's get it out there. If you're new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. It means a lot. If you're into surf fishing, kayak fishing, offshore, kayak camping, any saltwater adventure I can get into, I'm doing it along the panhandle. Stay tuned to the channel. Please subscribe, hit that bell notification so you see when the new videos upload. I'm doing up to two to three a week, doing a lot on Facebook and Instagram also. Perdido Blaine, you can also check out my guided services at perditoblaine.com. All the information and the rates are there also. Let's get into the beach cart. Before I show you what has changed and what has stayed the same, I just want to do a quick rundown of what I'm taking every trip out. All modifications to this cart were done by Deerfield Fabrication and Welding out of North Carolina. Great company. You can check out their website. I have it linked in the description of this video. So basically, this was a Fishing Mate Senior cart to start. So the only thing that's left from that is really the frame and this little bait basket here. That is the only thing that is left from the original cart, which I bought for like, I think 300 bucks, probably three years ago. It had the two orange wheels on the back. Um, it had a pull handle, not a push, and this little bait basket. That's base, your basic setup kind of starter kit. And then I've built this out from there. So to get this bad boy off the ground, I got a lift kit from Deerfield Fabrication. This is the lift kit on the bottom here. Basically, your frame, your fishing mate frame, just bolts right to the top of it. You can see I got the bolts in there, and that gets this guy off the ground. New axles, new tires, obviously four tires, and you do have to get a bigger axle, and Deerfield will take care of all that for you. If you order these tires, they will send you the axles also um, that fit the hubs of these tires. There's a few different brand of these like upgraded tires. These are Beach Wheels. Wheelies has a nice one, and um, I eventually probably will get some wheelies, but they're just so hard to get right now. Um, they've been on back order forever. If you can get your hands on some wheelies right now, <laughs> basically you've got them like used like off a of Facebook marketplace or something. But these are great. Um, I had these on the original modifications. They were blue and they were a little bit bigger and I'll tell you why I changed them out. I'm running a lot of beach fishing guides here in the Perdido Key, Pensacola, Orange Beach, Alabama area. And the bigger beach tires were great. They were heavy though. With the hubs that came with those and the bigger tires, they were heavy. I mean, I was lifting it in and out of the truck, you know, obviously getting it on and off the sand. But as time went on and more and more guides I was running, I started to want to lighten the load a bit. So to do that, I got some smaller tires. They work great. These actually have a different hub style. And I find that these hubs from Deerfield roll a bit better than the ones I had. And that's huge when you're out there on the beach. Here in the panhandle, we have really soft, like flowery sand. But <laughs> when you're pushing a beach cart through there, you know, it does get troubling and the lighter, the better for me. So what I did is I changed out the tires to so some smaller tires that lightened the load. And I also got rid of my like Yeti style cooler. I mean, I didn't get rid of it. I still use it, but I don't take it on trips anymore because they're super heavy. They were great. You know, um, it was hard to kind of make the switch, but really no longer than I'm out there. You know, I'm usually out there three to four hours. This basic igloo cooler will hold the ice and keep the catch fresh you know, just as well as that Yeti style cooler. And this thing is a lot lighter. I will still use the Yeti style cooler like when I'm doing our longer trips, especially camping. Um, I will take that every time I'm doing any kind of overnight excursion because the ice, the, the meat, the fish, whatever I have in there is just gonna last longer. So two of the things that have changed from the original modification six months ago are the lighter tires and the lighter cooler. Another small adjustment I have done in the past six months is I raised this handlebar. So this handlebar was basically, you see these holes here, it was all the way down into here. Um, 
I, I pushed it around for a while like that for months, really. And I was with my buddy James, uh, Frisky Fins, and he had the raised handlebar. So just out of curiosity, I pushed this along the beach and I found it was just a nicer, smoother ride. Um, I wasn't hunched over pushing the cart. So basically I just pulled this guy up until I felt this was comfortable and then made some pilot holes and then secured it in with these nuts. So now I'm up here. I'm not bending down to push this guy. I'm straight up. It's, it feels like a shopping cart. Pushing it nice and smooth. I'm not working my back in the, in the back of my shoulders so much, pushing through that soft sand. Nice, smooth ride, easy push. I'm glad I did this. Not really a beach cart modification, but I have changed out my sand spikes also. I'm using two of these tubular spikes from Deerfield Fabrication and Welding. These complete this circle here. I use a lot of the open face, but running into October, we get the big bull red run. And a lot of times with those bigger fish, with that open face, they will hit the rod, not commit, and it'll slingshot it back and your rod and reels in the sand. So you have the open face here, which I use basically for pompano fishing. This is where your, the butt of your rod goes. Nice, and it has the foot pegs on it to easily get it in the sand. This is what I'm using 90% of the time. Moving into fall and winter, I will be targeting like big black drum out in the surf and things like that. And again, sometimes they will slingshot that rod right back into the sand. So I picked me up a couple of these tubular spikes. They have a nice angle here at the bottom and these guys just go in the sand effortlessly. These are sand spike holders that I've just attached on the side of the original frame. Uh, again, these came from Deerfield and these will hold about six sand spikes. As you can see, I got six there. They were all on here. And I actually will put another one on there. This is what I use a lot of times for my camera. So that'll go on there also. And I have a flag that I fly, 12 foot flagpole, another upgrade from Deerfield. Here is the holder here that I've attached to the frame, top and bottom. And so this 12 foot flagpole will anchor into here. I got my flag up for advertising and it anchors it down for those windy days where the wind might be pushing your cart down the beach. When you have that flag down in the sand, it's not going anywhere. So I'll hold up to seven four foot sand spikes and a flagpole all on these sand spike holders here. These easily detach for transportation. You just pop them right off. Sometimes I'll put them in the back of the truck and I just flip them like this and turn them in for transportation purposes and they're good to go. This diamond plated flooring here was an original modification I did and I did it kind of late. Um, I ran charters without this for a while. My bucket here was kind of always kicked to the side. Things were falling through. So Deerfield sent me this, it came in two pieces. It was easily attached and that thing has saved me a lot of grief. And as you can see, six months later, it is still holding up. No rust or anything like that. I mean, it's beat up a little bit just from coolers and dropping pliers, things like that. But this was a great modification, fairly cheap too, and saves you a ton of heartache <laughs> with, with things. I was always losing flip-flops. I'd get to the truck and I only have one flip-flop because they were falling through and things like that. So this flooring, if I was suggest anything for your cart, definitely get this bad boy. I'm still using the original basket from the Fish and Mate Senior. I mean, it just works. It's easily pops on and off for transportation. Basically, I just laid in the floor in here when I got it in the back of the truck till I get to the spot, slot it in one of these rod holders. And these rings from the sinker guy hold my Spudniks great. So a lot of times these Spudniks, I didn't know what to do with them. I was just throwing them in the basket or throwing them in the bucket but this keeps them nice and organized. These are four ounces, these are three ounces. A lot of times I'll keep two ounces on there also. Sand flea rake is still holding strong. It just slides on this lift kit. So this is the lift kit on the bottom. I keep this guy upright like that. It doesn't work as well like this with, I thought it would work better like that, kind of grabbing the axles, but it actually doesn't. It works better like this. You slide that guy on, he rests on that first axle up there and that guy never falls off. 
I keep this little adjustable tripod. I think this thing was like 20 bucks on Amazon. But this is a perfect little thing. I keep it right here up on my handlebars and to put my phone. So my phone's easy access. I can check messages or whatever, take pictures. That's a great little modification I've done on this. This guy basically always stays on there. Still rolling with the Blue Dot Outfitter Soft Cooler because again, this attaches to the handlebars. It is out of the way. You know, you have this big angle here. This guy just rests on top. You wrap these bungees around the top of the handlebars here. And this is where I keep like my snacks, my water, my snacks. I throw a little, few little ice packs in there and that keeps everything separate from my cooler where I've got like bait and whatever I catch, I'm throwing in there. So it's a little bit more sanitary. So what has happened over the last six months with these modifications is nothing dramatic has changed. I mean, Deerfield has it pinned down on what you would probably want, what you would probably need. They have different versions of stuff also, different sizes. These guys put a lot of time and effort in beach cart modifications. I mean, that's all they do. So really over the last six months, I've just tried to make it a little bit lighter. And I was able to accomplish that with the smaller wheels, which still work great, the lighter cooler, the adjustment of the bar, so bringing that handlebar up so I'm not all scrunched down, pushing it through the sand. I'm more vertical and pushing it like a shopping cart. That has helped a lot. And really, that's it. I mean, I don't really think I need anything else. Um, again, running charters, running beach fishing guides on and off the beach, sometimes multiple times a day. I'm trying to keep it light. I'm trying to keep it simple. I'm only taking what I'm going to use not overstocking the cart, bringing a bunch of tackle. Basically, I keep everything I need in this bag. And this is a waterproof bag. I use, I don't necessarily need a waterproof bag out there, but for the camera equipment and stuff like that, especially during the summer where it's raining every day and you never know when it's gonna rain, I like to be able to throw my cameras and stuff like that, my batteries in that bag to protect them. But basically, I just have like my basic surf fishing gear in here. My weights are here. I also keep pyramid weights, things like that in this basket. So in that bag, I got like my pliers, my rigs, scissors, um, bait knife, things like that. And then once I get to the spot, that stuff will come out and I'll set up my cart, you know, so it's functional. So bag, bucket, cooler, sand spikes, weights, snack cooler, sand flea rake on the bottom, and I'm riding out. 100% worth the investment for me. You know, again, this is what I'm doing for a living. Um, I am running the guides, I'm out there making videos. I need to be able to transport and get on and off the beach as quick as possible, as effortless as possible. And these modifications are working out for me. You guys check out Deerfield Fabrication and Welding's website. Again, it is linked in the description of this video. You can see all the products they're doing. Um, what I did is I kind of pieced mine together a little by little because it can get expensive if you're just, you go all in. They are doing their own line of beach carts right now. Um, two wheels, four wheels. They're doing a little like run and gun cart. So it's all on the website. You guys go check these guys out. Again, they're out of North Carolina. Great guys in the panhandle all the time. Brian and Nick, you will not be disappointed. All right, fishing buddies, getting out of here. I'm about to go to the beach. You guys check me out. I'm on all the socials. Again, check out my website, perditoblade.com if you want to run a surf fishing guide or kayak fishing guide in the Perdido Key, Orange Beach, Pensacola area. All my information and rates are there. Till next time, fishing buddies.